Here's how I'd like you to think of these three boxes, because um, actually we've got a lot to talk about in a short period of time, but I want to sort of set our minds on a path for what we're about to talk about. And we're going to premise it off of this. This is the you box. This is the me box. And this is the us box. I call this my three box theory. And everything we do today is going to kind of work off of this. But keep that in mind that we've got you, and we've got me, and we've got we. Well, let me tell you, in the last two weeks alone, just two weeks, this is what I amassed on trying to define sustainability. So if you can't really come up with a clear definition, there's no wonder. Because this is what sustainability is. And not the intersection of social responsibility, environmental responsibility, and fiscal responsibility. You can have all three. And when you figure out the design in architecture, construction, manufacturing, retail, transportation, that embraces all three, then we're sustainable. Zoom. Let's do something really quickly. Let's all get into renewable energy. But we don't have a plan. Let's just get into it. Ethanol, great idea, doesn't burn fuel. Zoom, let's build up in all plants. Do you know if there's 38 ethanol plant applications that will go unanswered this year because finally everyone realized that they jumped into ethanol without a plan. No vision. Because now is the time, more than ever, that not only do we need people who are thinking outside the box, but we're willing to pay them big money to do so too. And that's where I kind of bridge the gap between the two. Being altruistic doesn't mean you can't make money. This stuff existed for one hour. Three plastic bags, plastic coverings on my spoon, plastic coverings on the crackers, a paper bag, an extra paper bag. I've got a non, oh, look at that. I got non-recycled plastic outer wrap on my tomato soup plus the container. I've got plastic here. Let's see, it has a little recycling on the bottom. And I got this plastic here. I've got this plastic bag, which is not recyclable, and I've got this paper bag, which fortunately is. That's my lunch, soup and a salad, and some water. And I have no idea that in what they're saying, 50 to 100 years from now, there'll be no polarized cap left, and Florida will be floating. I have no more idea about that than I have about this one. Nor do I think anybody in the room. Because you know what? There are still two sides of all these debates. I presented two sides of the tomatoes. I presented two sides of the bottles. I presented two sides of the packaging. There are two sides to all this stuff. That's not the point. The point is how do I, not how I take one thing and make it more efficient. The point is how does it all come together? What's the cohesiveness here? It's time now for the next best thing. We all know about global warming. We all know about recycling. We all know about green. We all know about green buildings. We all know about uh, you know, all these things that Toyota and Ford and Walmart and GE and BP, and everyone's joining the party up at this plateau. But where we need to go now is up here. And you guys really have the ability to be a strong influence on moving up there. Because the next time one of your clients says, you know, I'm not interested in looking at green, you say, well, let me tell you why looking at sustainable is environmentally responsible, socially responsible, and fiscally responsible, and why you, client, could be the next true leader and bring the next great design to your business. There's nothing to be afraid of anymore. Don't be afraid to get up and look inside the box.